Got a cleaning product by Love Meg. Smells like her pupusa. You know what I mean? Like, what's happening? I can't even tell. Hi, and welcome to my very awkward intro. My name is Susan slash Bambi, and this is Bambi's Rambles. How are we, friends? Are we good? That's good. And if you're not okay, that's okay too. In today's video, we are not going to talk about the fact that I'm completely and utterly sunburned. I'm finding it incredibly hard to find clothes that don't hurt me. So here we go with the singlets. I am head to toe burnt. I tried a sunscreen, and I can't remember the name of it. I'll put a photo in here don't ever use that sunscreen if i was you because it did the same thing to jose where he put it so his back was like sunburnt but anyway in today's video we are going to be talking about what it says in the title and what it says in the thumbnail we are going to be talking about the nasty dms the back and forth that the dad challenge podcast seems to have with people and when i say people i mean women when i say women i mean majority women he he won't have anything to do with men at all and i think that's because he's a gutless 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 person so <clears throat> this person pixie um i will link her channel in the description down below pixie was having a pixie had said something to josh and they ended up having a back and forth in the dms and we also have the the um the information that we have in regards to when what we know of in regards to his conversation how it started with radiant brit which was him saying to radiant brit about her lighting and stuff like that okay and apparently he had said the same thing to uh sincerely sharon and then we go off this whole exchange here so <clears throat> Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to discuss is the video that I linked in my, um, in my community post and it talks about, um, Pixie's video on the Dad Challenge podcast. So if you've already seen that video, then you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen that video again in my community post and I will link it down below, Pixie cracks me up. She is so funny. I think she's hilarious. And she gives no Fs either. Like, she does not give a shit. She just tells you how it is. She doesn't care. She's just... And she's gorgeous. So, I think she's amazing. Anyway, so apparently, the gist of what happened was Erin Williams has just had a baby. Her and some Instagram mummies or some um, YouTube mummies, influencer mummies, mummy vloggers, reenacted that favorite scene that we all have from Mean Girls. The Jingle Bell Rock don't mind me but anyway so they essentially did that and Erin had just had a baby and the dad challenge podcast left a comment if I can ha if I have the comment I will leave it up here left a comment just being an asshole like just being an absolute troll right and <clears throat> Pixie I love this because I feel like Pixie kind of gets Josh and that's the thing that like I'm really 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 glad that people are starting to see like the truth about him because she went into this looking for him to bite right was it a bit childish yeah do I think that she should have done it yes because now we can see exactly what he's like so so Pixie said so Pixie re responded to him and I guess did something on her story and basically had the song little D and like basically uh, emasculating him the same way that he kind of, um, you know, dehumanizes these mommy vloggers, right? So she basically did the same thing, which, you know what, I'm a bit like that, so I enjoyed it thoroughly. But she did say, um, the creepier, then creepier ass Josh had to show his size by posting this, confident man don't stalk out youtube mums for content amen sister amen i'm with you now 
So let me get this straight. And this is what he said to her. It's, I'm going to pop this up on the screen. Let me get this straight. You think I'm a misogynistic asshole for making fun of women? Yes, you are. <clears throat> so in order to call me out, you make fun of my dick size. Like we're in high school. Got it. Thanks. Okay, she made fun of your churumba size. Your, you know your thing size but you say that a cleaning product by love meg smells like her pupusa you know what i mean like what's happening i can't even take myself seriously looking in this is like uh, like i was like talking to marissa yesterday and marissa's like ah dad challenge podcast exposed by lobster yes that's right that's the vibe that's why my hair is red i'm a lobster might as well fucking be <clears throat> uh so then he realizes that she does YouTube, she does mummy vlogs, she does, she does all different shit. Like, she just co creates content for the fun of it. What's the issue? But any hoozle, he's like, oh, never mind now, I get it. I have upset the mummy vlogger Pastic Cartel, lol. I consider this a win. Thanks, though, you fake ass hair-looking dollar store Barbie. Does this man have no class? I'm like losing all of my nails, by the way. They need to be done, but I don't want to talk about it. But anyway, does this man have no class? He has no class and he has no intelligence. And Pixie said a lot of the same things that I think. She got He got issues with his mama. He got issues with his sister. He got issues with his fam. He got issues with females. He probably does have a small winky and his wife's probably never been satisfied in her entire life. And this is how he decides to live his life. My fringe is not okay today, guys. It's not okay. Any hoozle. So we move on to the DM stage of this, right? Now, this is where Pixie sends a message to Josh. Josh, I really tried to understand you and where you were coming from. We have all been through hard times and a lot of us have been through trauma. You clearly have a lot more healing to do i agree with that you have some issues like honestly all you are is a cult leader who projects his insecurities onto others who are more successful and more conventionally attractive and popular as opposed to yourself um and i feel like a lot of your brain dead subscribers are exactly the same way they're projecting all of their issues because maybe they weren't popular in high school maybe they weren't the prettiest girl or i don't know something like that that has traumatized them people being mean to them and i don't condone bullying bullshit i hate bullying i think that's stupid but this is this is what this is what I see. It's all projection. It's layered trauma and projection. And it's just embarrassing. But anywho, so let me keep going, okay? Um, you clearly you clearly have a lot more to healing to do. I don't trust a single thing you say about saving the children here on YouTube. You have one concern, and that concern is yourself. If you had a real mission to make a change regarding some of the toxic family vloggers, you wouldn't waste your time bitching about Love Meg's cleaning products, her hair, her makeup, etc. You would actually be doing real work. Instead, you snark and make money. You are just as bad, if not worse, than those families you are hell-bent on destroying. You are full of hate, rage, lies, and jealousy. And you know what? I agree with every single thing she said. Me and my lobster, lobster skin agree. Now, he responded, lol then why do you watch honest question and when pixie was reading this out like on her chat like i was watching a video and i was like i don't <laughs> and then pixie's like i don't i was like yeah we don't watch you but we know what you have done and continue to do to these families both online and offline you are a like you're a serial doxer you're a serial real lifer and we don't like people that go real life and that's what you do mate with these poor fucking kids. Are you jealous of these kids? Sorry, that just came up like out of nowhere, out of my head. I just He responds, I haven't in a long time, like many others that were starting to hear you when you started. I no longer trust your your intentions. You could have really have made a difference. You were fun to watch. We listened until the 
till this oh, we listened until it became a snark channel that rubbed many of us the wrong way i get it you are doing you are you make more money doing snark you gain more subscribers doing snark so it's clear that youtube popular popularity is what really matters to you i really feel like many of your subscribers are fighting your fight that doesn't even exist in the first place and again i will say I agree wholeheartedly and I think that's why I'm even making this video is because a lot of the things that Pixie said made a lot of freaking sense and what a lot of us really think and feel and I think that hearing it from a different angle and a different person I hope more people will listen and hear and see this person Josh is is harassing people like imagine every time you put up an image of yourself doing whatever you're doing and someone who's claiming to be fighting for the protection of your children even when your children aren't even off there are in your comment sections talking about your physical appearance like i like just just imagine that and there's a bunch of women sitting around doing that with him. Let me tell you about these women. You have you you are so insecure and you are so nasty. Honestly, are you people miserable like in your marriages and your families and your lives where you have to project that onto others? Like I just find it so nasty. And sometimes I find myself going through his comment sections and I'm and I'm reading these comments and I'm just like, wow, that came out of your mouth. Like even when I so yesterday I was having a discussion with a couple of um, my friends um, and we were talking about Radiant Brits comment sections where people were talking about a miscarriage that someone had had, a, a mummy vlogger had had a miscarriage and that was, had conspiracies about whether that was true or not and in the past I have stuck, I've stood up for Brit when it comes to um, you know parenting not having children having children all those sorts of things like i just you know i just feel like i really hope that you know the dad challenge podcast doesn't go with what those comments were in brit's comments because i have a really strong feeling that brit will not do that brit will not touch that but i have like i don't agree with brit i don't like brit we have our differences whatever else i just don't think as a woman she would do that but i see josh doing that and I just, that was like my preempt, preemptive um, complaint is that when I saw that, my instant thought was, fuck, I really hope that these nasty people aren't going to Josh's channel and he's going to feed into it and be an asshole too. Do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's just going to be a jerk anywhere and everywhere. But let me continue with these texts. Okay, so he, K, you don't know shit about my intentions. At its core, exploitation of kids is wrong. No matter what you think, this shit has taken a nosedive in the past year big time. I can list about eight families who took their kids down from this shit, five of which credit me for opening their eyes. But yeah, I have done nothing to help this cause. I have done nothing to help this cause. What have you done? You think it's wrong, but you have a family vlog? Lol. First of all, Josh, you have a, you have family vlog content as well. I will link it down below. Um, people talking about that. That's now deleted off his channel. But he does have family vlog in, stuff himself. And that's why he's partly pissed too. Because he tried the whole family vlogging thing and it didn't work. Um, but why is he not going after the Ace family? He should be going after the Ace family because Catherine and Catherine and Austin have actually put up images of them being disrespectful, nasty, horrible parents in front of their children behind the scenes, been horrible and disgusting to each other, which which creates a toxic environment for children. Then we have the fact that they never fuck their house got foreclosed on. These people are meant to be millionaires from family vlogging, but do not have a home. That's irresponsible. And that there is irresponsible like spending of their children's, what their children have created for them. Like I can understand that. But at the same time, who thinks that they have a right 
to say what parents do with their kids or don't do with their kids without making solid points and proofs of how this is exploitation. You don't do that. You don't do that. You talk about mummy bloggers showing their feet and cleaning and all this stuff. What does that have to do with kids? Why are you not talking about a woman by the name of Trisha Licious who due to YouTube, YouTube creators who actually wanted to make a change would watch this drug addict's live streams and I'm not degrading her for being an addict. I understand that a lot of us have been there. I get it. But what I will slam her about is the fact that she was on a live stream at 4 a.m. in the morning in the middle of the street with homeless people drinking alcohol with her daughter there. Her daughter was in the background of a live stream screaming that she was thirsty and her mother berated her while she was holding a corona. Now this child has now been removed from her and is now in CPS custody. Um, and that was a lot of the support and help of creators who had seen time and time and time again this little girl physically emotionally mentally abused by their mother put in awful situations when she would bring homeless men she just met bring them home that's a situation where especially with your sorts of numbers could actually like do something about because these creators that did something about this had four to five k subs you've got the right amount but you're not doing that because you don't give a fuck you want people to buy you a coffee and all this other shit. You don't give a shit about fucking children. What about Shani for Christ? Did you ever talk about Shani for Christ? The way that her children lived? The way that her children were, were treated? How she would have food stamps from the government and she would go and buy a big sub and eat it for a live stream? while her kids would get to have the scraps from that. Like, do you get this at all, Josh? There's so much that you can fucking do, but you fucking won't, because you're a gutless piece of shit. And you don't care about anybody. But Sorry, guys, my camera died. Um. You don't care about anybody but yourself. You've never cared about anybody but yourself. And this is this is what I mean with with within his conversations with other women uh, and other creators. It's it's said by Radiant Britain and a few others that he'd go in there, as I said before, he'd go in there and talk about their lighting and their editing and their this and then that. And one that is some like creepy tinder shit like that is some creepy tinder shit where some guy will come in and try and act like he's like so smart about something and like putting his best foot forward and like obviously josh thinks he's so smart and he wants to put his best foot forward with like editing and stuff like that because he says he's he, he he does this for a living or he used to do it for a living and all those sorts of things like he knows what he's doing but you don't know how to be like anything else do you at all I don't know. I don't know why anyone would think you were a catch, honestly. So I'd, I, I would sit down and read the rest of the discussion with Pixie and Josh. But again, this is not my discussion. So go and watch Pixie's video. You will get the full breakdown. But I just wanted to show you bits and pieces of the conversation and, and, and kind of just like ramble, I guess. And let you guys know that, that these are traits of people that just want admiration. Like, he just wants admiration. He does not care about the kids. He does not care about anything. He only cares about himself and making money and having that God complex, this savior complex, this God complex, because if we look further, look at what he came, became famous for uh, partially, you know what I mean? Like a, like a, 
a news a headline was when he did a GoFundMe for a pizza dad so a man that was I think he had no money to buy Christmas presents so Josh did this thing and then Josh was known as this being nice helpful person then we have him turning to the um, the church and becoming a super being in a super church and singing and being the god complex there because people would turn to him and listen to him and worship him he comes into this thing with the kids complex oh kids what a savior what a beautiful man and then all these dumb fools fall for it and listen to it when it's staring you right in the face, this man does not care about children. He cares about money, admiration, and being noticed. Like, that's all he cares about, and that's all he's gonna care about. He's never gonna change, he's never gonna be any different. Don't expect it, don't think it, don't feel it, don't don't tell yourself that he's changed from six months ago. Because you just you're giving yourself you're feeding yourself a bunch of bull. Like honestly, you are. You are. And if it makes you feel better, go right ahead. We all we all like to live in our little worlds where things make us feel better, but he hasn't changed. He has always been this way. He is an asshole. He's a gutless wonder. And someone said in my comment sections, one of his fans said, um, I am <clears throat> hiding behind YouTube instead of confronting him or DMing him. First of all, this is the largest platform that I have. And it's probably the largest platform that I will ever have. And that I want people to talk to him about it then why not just make a video where it's on a public platform and everyone can see it. So the idea of hiding from people whilst public on a, posting on a public platform makes no sense. And when someone said they wanted, um, when they said they wanted me to debate Josh, I would rather sleep on broken glass. What am I going to debate him about? Like, what? Like, legitimately. Okay, okay. I'll take back my snark a little bit. Let's just reel it in a little. What am I going to debate this person on? Realistically. Because I'm going to sit there and tell him, what have you done for the children? Well, I've had eight people leave the platform. But no, 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 no. You're forgetting the reason why they've, they're gone. It's not because they've opened their eyes, as you've said, and they've woken up to their mistakes and whatever else. No, it's not. It's because you're an absolute asshat that won't leave them alone. So what choice do they have? You're like a crazy ex-boyfriend. You're like a stalker. Do you know what I mean? It's insanity. It's insanity. And I... I have no reason to have a discussion with him, I guess. I just have no reason to have any sort of discussion with someone like that. Like, ah. Uh, it's making me tired just thinking about it, if I'm honest with you. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just being a bitch. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to like, subscribe, send a pigeon, keep the same energy. And let me know what else you guys want to see. And I'm also working on the Three Stooges. A video about the Three Stooges, right? And it links into the Summer Wells case. Heels on the ground all of that that video is coming straight after this video so make sure you are subscribed for some reason i keep losing five subscribers gaining five subscribers losing five subscribers gaining five subscribers it's the weirdest thing in the world but apparently it's not just me some other creators have said this happened to them too so make sure you are not unsubscribed and i will see you guys very soon Mwah.